How's it going everyone? Right now we are going to be taking a quick look at the Yakima Skybox NX16 rooftop cargo box. We're going to see how it fits on our 2020 GMC Terrain. This is going to be a great option for you if you want to get some larger or messier items up on your roof that you don't have room for, or you'd rather not keep inside your vehicle and you want to keep them protected at the same time. So let's take a closer look. So it's called the NX16 because it does offer 16 cubic feet of storage which, if you want to put that in an easier perspective, is basically just enough room for three people's worth of gear. It is also going to weigh 47 pounds, so factor that in, plus anything you want to store inside. Check your roof rating, your roof rack system weight rating, and go by the lowest rated component just to make sure that we're not overloading anything. To open our box up, first thing we're going to need is the key. So we just fit it into this lock core here on our handle. And once we turn that we do have the ability to now open up our box it's going to be hinged in a way that allows it to stay up without me holding it so if I want to load and unload gear I can do that and not have to worry about keeping it up at the same time so from here is when you would actually be able to load things in inside the box you'll see that there are these raised portions here that's going to help you keep your gear up and out of any sort of mess that it could create, whether that's ice and snow for skis and snowboards, or maybe some sand or mud. In either case, it'll keep your gear up and out of that. Down here, we can take a closer look at the top of our clamp setup. So on here, we do have an opening for our straps. If we want to, we can use that to tie down and secure our gear. Also, we can see that this channel runs on either side of it. We can slide this up and down to accommodate a couple different crossbar spreads. And right here is where our gear tool is going to go. It actually stores right here on the inside of the box. It stores on either side. And basically what we're going to do is fit it into this opening here. You can loosen them up. You can tighten them down. And it does have a built-in torque spec that will make that noise once we get to the desired torque. And then we can just set it back up inside the wall here where it stores. Right now we're going to take a look at our clamps at the underside of our box here. So they're working with our arrow bars right now and we do have a really secure hold. As you can see it is also padded to protect the bars a little bit but it will work with your round, square, elliptical, and factory bars as well. So pretty much whatever your roof rack system uses this will work just fine. If we want to close our box after we're done loading up gear we do have the string attached, which is really nice if you can't reach all the way up to the top and close it. This is pretty, sitting pretty tall on this vehicle here, so I can pull it down this way. And I'll tuck that back inside before we close it fully. Also, I do just want to point out that right now I am unable to access this key because the box isn't closed all the way. And until it does, you'll see this red indicator. When it closes fully, that will disappear. And now I do have the ability to get the key out. I'm on the other side of the vehicle right now just because I do want to show off the fact that we can open this box up from both sides. We will need to get the key to unlock the latch again, but once we do, we can pop it open. So if we have some gear that we want to keep over here or something we want to keep on the other side, because we have it centered up on our crossbars right now, we can get it from either way and it'll hinge and stay open the same way it does on the other side. But again, we won't be able to get the key out until it's fully closed and locked up. Where you have your box could kind of depend based on where you set up your roof rack system. On this vehicle, we do have raised rails, so we do have the ability to adjust it a little bit. But as we have it now, it's pretty much in the middle, and we do still have hatch access. So the Skybox NX16 does have that undercut tail in the back, so it doesn't take up a ton of space. And as you can see, we have plenty of room before we're going to make contact with the hatch, so we can move it back even a little further if we wanted to. One thing to keep in mind with this system is that we are going to be adding about 16 inches of height to the highest point from the top of our rails here. So that's the number you want to keep in mind as far as can I store this in my garage or anywhere that you might run into clearance issues. Also with our setup right now, we are going to end up obstructing most of our panoramic sunroof view. So there's not much we're going to be able to do about that. You can maybe move it one side or the other a little bit more if that's something that's really important to you. But if you're getting a box up here like that, you're not going to be able to see a ton out of that roof. The box is going to be made of a durable ABS plastic, which is going to be the standard for most of the roof boxes that we'll see like this one. 
This one is a little bit different though because it does have that nano textured finish. So it kind of gives the appearance of being a glossy box, but because it has that textured finish, it's going to be more resistant to scratches and wear and tear over a longer period of time, but it still gives you that shiny look. Overall, as far as the fit on this vehicle goes, I do think it's a really nice option. I think if you have this car, there's a really good chance that you're bringing multiple people where you need them to go and you're going to fill up that storage in the back really quickly. So if you have some larger items or maybe you're just taking a road trip and you need a way to get those where you need them, but you want to keep them protected at the same time, this is going to be a great choice. It does take up a good amount of space, but you get a good amount of storage in return. That being said, there are tons of different options for shapes, sizes, and materials here for roof boxes at eTrailer.com. Feel free to check out any of those product pages or the reviews or videos and pick one that fits your vehicle or your needs. But as far as the Yakima Skybox NX16 goes, I do think it is a really nice option for this vehicle. We again just took a quick look at how it fits on our 2020 GMC Terrain.